Hey everyone, I hope you are doing well. Today I wanted to share what we are getting our six-year-old this Christmas. He will be seven right after Christmas, so pretty much like the kinder first range. I have shared what we are gifting our three-year-old and then what we are doing for other kiddos that we give to this year, including our niece, our nephews, and then some of our friends' kids. So if you do wanna check that out, I will have it down below. I have a gift playlist from this year and then from previous years. So if you are starting your shopping or you need some ideas or specific things, hopefully those can help you. Um, I try to, just give as many ideas as I can because I know it can be really difficult thinking of gifts year after year. So if you wanna check that out, that will be below as well as anything I mentioned that I can link, I will. And then of course I'll link like our blog, Instagram, all that good stuff. So hopefully this will kind of get you in the spirit and get you gearing up for the holidays. It happens so fast. I can't believe we are already like almost halfway through November, that is crazy. Um, and yeah, it sneaks up on you. So I will say, I have mentioned this in my other videos, but I primarily do my shopping in the summer on the summer prime days. And then I took advantage of the last prime day that was in October. So I try not to really pay full price for anything. And if something is on my radar, I will keep it like in my car or keep an eye on it if it does go on sale because really there's no point to pay full price unless you absolutely have to. So I am very big on planning ahead and trying to get the most bang for my buck. So I do set a budget for the kiddos. I do include stockings and all of that and I keep a list of what we buy for them just so it doesn't get too out of control. So that's kind of what we do. And then I will be talking about you know who. So if you do have little ears, I will be mentioning them. Um, but like I mentioned in my last video, we do three Santa gifts um, to represent the three wise men um, and just kind of tie it into the meaning of Christmas. And then we do two gifts from mom and dad and then two gifts from the siblings to each other. So that's kind of what we do. And then we do stockings of more like sensory activities, tunies, things like that, instead of candy and treats and all that stuff. So I will be sharing what I am doing for their stockings, what I'm doing for my husband, and then what I'm doing for teachers and other people we are gifting to. So if you are interested in that, um, just keep an eye out for those. Those will be coming hopefully in the next couple weeks, but I will go ahead and share the first three things he is getting from our special friend. Um, the first one is going to be this magic set. So he saw this, I wanna say at Barnes and Noble, and he just kept looking at it. He thought it was so cool. He's really into like practical jokes, playing tricks, all of that. So something like this would be is gonna be really fun for him. And it's gonna be fun for him to do with our younger son as well. So I did not get this online. I think I got it in store, but if I can, link it online, I will, but this is gonna be the first one. I don't know if I'm gonna wrap it or have it unwrapped. I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do this year, but usually that's kind of a game time decision of how I wanna do it each year and it changes up a little bit. I am gonna do, one thing I'm gonna do is all the gifts under the tree, I'm gonna put everyone's picture on the present so then my younger son can help. So when he's passing out presents, he can actually participate and it not just be me, my husband, and my older son since he can't read yet. So I do have like gifts from friends and grandparents and all of that that we already have. So I'm gonna print off everyone's picture and go ahead and put it on their presents so then we can all help distribute. Because for me growing up, I loved handing out the presents, but that's gonna be his first present from our special friend. And then the next one is gonna be this drone. So he has talked about having a drone for forever. We had a smaller one that, I don't know, it lasted maybe a year, but you know, it's so tiny, it just, it can break really easily. So he's mentioned getting a nicer one. My husband really likes these. My brother-in-law has a really nice one. So this is something I feel like we can use for a while. He'll have fun with it. My husband will have fun with it. And it's just something different. So I really try to be a little out of the box and what I'm gifting them. And even things sometimes that they mention that I know they're not gonna play with for a while, or it's gonna be one of those things that maybe last a week, I'll kind of steer them in a different direction. Um, not that I don't like those things, but 
you know your kids. Some things, it just doesn't last long. So uh, hopefully that will be uh, an extended gift of what we can use for a while. And then of course, he will be getting a Lego. He is a Lego lover. He, this is actually a smaller set for him. Um, he's doing sets that are like 1500 pieces, almost 2000 pieces. So this will be a little bit smaller, but let me tell you, those bigger sets are expensive. Oh my goodness. Um, I will say these creator sets are amazing. I love these. You basically can build three different things with the same pieces. You have like your um, main build, which is obviously the astronaut, and then you can tear it down. And then they have two other sets of directions where you can build something new. I really love the creator sets. I think you get a lot of bang for your buck. So here's the three things that you can create on the back. But he will love this. Anything he can build, he absolutely loves. He's just a Lego fanatic. We have way too many Legos. We don't even know what to do with like all the built sets. So <laughs> I'm trying to come up with another system. Right now we have bookshelves that we display everything on, but the bigger sets, I mean, one build will pretty much take up a whole shelf. So need to be creative with that. And when I find a good solution, I will definitely share. But those are his three gifts from our special friend. And then one of his gifts from, I think this is gonna be from brother, is the game Life. We love board games in this family. We play games constantly. I feel like it is just such a fun family thing to do. It's good for them. It's a good non-screen time activity. Um, and so he played this at my friend's parents' house and he mentioned getting it because we don't have it. So I thought this, this would just be a new fun addition to our collection. I will say for storing them, I put them in the, those like Ziploc that they're the mesh, that new, those new mesh bags that are like the thing. And then I taped the, like I cut out the front of the box and I tape it on the front. Then we can fit a lot of games in our closet because these boxes take up a lot. And it's really nice because if we travel and we do wanna bring any games with us, it's really easy to pack. So if you are a game lover like us, that is an idea for you if you haven't done it already. I know that there's so many ideas with those bags for everything. So I assume a lot of people probably do it, but if you don't, that is one thing that has worked really great for us. So that is his first gift from his brother. And then his second gift is a set of walkie talkies. They have been talking about using walkie talkies for forever. They think it's just like so fun, so cool. My son and our neighbor, they did have a set that they would communicate. We're like four houses down. It was the cutest thing ever, but he wanted a set for him and my younger son. So I figured it could be from our younger son to him and he will love this. They will play so many games. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so fun. So that is his second gift from him or from our son. And then one of the gifts from mom and dad, he's in first grade right now. So he is really into Dogman and Cat Kid, the comic books, which if you have kids in that range, I'm sure you've heard of them, especially if you have boys. <laughs> but um, he is gonna get two of the Cat Kid books, which he will be so pumped about. And then I saw this Dogman game, which I don't, it's just a little card game, but since this is like his new obsession, I figured that it would just be a fun little card game to have. And then obviously it's another game we can play as a family and it's something that he really loves right now. So this will be kind of wrapped together like this, but he reads pretty much every night. Our younger son gets to listen to Toonies, Tonies. I still don't know how you say it. So I go back and forth, but he listens to that at night and then our older son reads for about 30 minutes. So he is really into books. He loves reading and he thinks those books are hilarious, which if you have ever read them, it's pretty much like when I was a kid, it was like Captain, Captain Underpants. It's pretty much that same vibe. So that is his first gift for mom and dad. And then his second gift ooh, is going to be the Lincoln Log Treehouse. So we have the, the OG just set of Lincoln Logs, but I mean, you can only do so much with it. So when I saw this, I thought this would be a perfect addition. I have mentioned before, we love building. Anything you can build or create with, we are huge fans of that. So we have all different like buck buckets and tubs and bags of different like materials to build with. So I thought this would be fun for both kids to add to our already box of Lincoln Logs and just something different that they can do. So 
I love anything like that that we can just add to a collection that we already have. I mentioned before, we're really big into magnet tiles. Obviously, Legos are amazing. Just anything you can build, tear down, and use again. I love stuff like that. So I love things that we can have for an extended time and it's not just like they're they're excited for that moment and then they don't think about it the day after, you know? So those are what his gifts, gifts look like this year. I, I feel like once they get older, their gifts are a little bit more expensive. So it looks a little different. I did have to really think about it because let me tell you, if they did not have the same number of gifts to each, like, to each other, I would hear about it. So <laughs> you really have to like be creative and think if you want to stay within a budget and if your kids are still younger and that's going to matter to them. They don't really get the principle of if something is more expensive, maybe you're going to get less. That just doesn't even phase them yet. So that is what he is going to be getting this year. And then of course, what he gets from family and all of that. So hopefully that gave you some ideas if you have kiddos in this eight in this age range especially if you have boys um we don't have any girls so all i know is boy life but hopefully this was helpful and like i said the next video i will share what i'm doing in their stockings i usually do um like any arts and crafts stuff or tactile stuff or things like that so definitely stay tuned for that and if you have any questions or comments leave them below i would love to hear from you and i'll catch you in the next one bye